and gentlemen, the story you are about to see is true. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. This is the city. Los Angeles, California. I work here. I'm a cop. It was Wednesday, September 7th. It was hot in Los Angeles. We were working the day watch out of burglary division. My partner's Frank Smith. The boss is Captain Bernard. My name's Friday. During the past week, the Valley Division had reported three burglaries in new housing projects. When they got a fourth report, they called us in. At 13 a.m., we drove over to the track at the corner of Moore Park and Victory, Mayflower Homes. Is this the one? Yeah, this is it. Say, did you see that sign back there? $500 down. Pretty nice houses, huh? Yeah, they are. You thinking of getting a new place, are you? Well, thinking the kids are growing up. We could use some more room. Mm hmm. This is the kind of place Faye wants, though. One that nobody else has lived in. Well, maybe someday. Yeah. Yes, sir? Police officers. My name's Friday. This is Frank Smith. How do you do? Somebody reported a burglary at this address. Are you Sam Brighton? Yes, sir, that's right. Would you come in? Thank you. Called the police just a little while ago. Talked to a man down there. I didn't get his name, though. I was kind of upset. I can understand. We haven't got all our furniture yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Would you show us where they broke in, please? Sure, right over here. It's the middle window there. You can see where he jimmied it. Uh-huh. I was careful not to touch it. You know, fingerprints. Good. Can you give us a list of the things they took? Well, no, sir, not for certain. We're just getting moved in, you see. We don't know for sure what's gone. A couple of silver trays and a pair of candlesticks. They're missing. Any cash? About $20, $25. When I changed to go out to dinner, I left it in my trousers. Mm-hmm. Your family live here with you? My wife. Oh, I see. We've only been married a couple of weeks. Yeah. Any idea what time the burglary took place? Yes, sir, between 6 and 10 last night. Must have been then, between 6 and 10. Uh -huh. We went over to Sally's folks for dinner. Our refrigerator won't be in until the end of the week. I see. The reason I'm so sure about the time is I wanted to find out how long it would take to drive there. Mm -hmm. Told Sally it wouldn't be more than 15 minutes. First time she's ever been away from home, she kind of likes to feel her folks are handy. I understand. Hollywood Hills, that's where they live. Took us 14 minutes. Left here at 6 o'clock exactly. News was just coming on the radio. Got there 6.14. Not so sure when we got home, but it was right around 10 o'clock. That's close enough. Of course, we didn't know about the burglary then. We just went straight to bed. Didn't look in here. Yeah. It wasn't until this morning when I started hunting for some cash. Well, now, is it possible he broke in while you were asleep? I might have slept through it, but not Sally. These little thing wakes her up. You all right if we talk to your wife? She couldn't tell you anything I haven't. She here now? Over to Mother's. This thing kind of threw her. You know how it is, just a kid. Yeah. She wish it'd been me that found out about the bird. The bird? Didn't I tell you I meant to? No, you didn't. Darndest thing, parakeet. Folks gave it to Sally when she was just a girl. She taught her how to talk. Talk real good, too. Why should a burglar do a thing like that? Well, what'd he do, turn it loose? No, sir. He killed it. We called the crime lab. Sergeant J. Allen told us that there were no useful fingerprints on the window. Pictures were taken of the Jimmy marks. There was no other physical evidence. By the end of the following week, four more burglaries were reported in new housing developments. We interviewed the victims. In each case where the home contained pet birds, the birds had been killed. Other pets were not disturbed. Circulars describing the stolen articles were sent to all pawn shops in the city. Monday, September 19th, 8.05 a.m., we checked in for the day. What's the matter, you still asleep? I didn't get a wink. Faye was at me all night. It's my own fault, Joe. Never should have told her about all those new houses going up. It was a big mistake. Well, I thought you told me you were considering a new house. Well, I changed my mind. We got enough people staying with us now. All Faye's relatives, that brother-in-law, Armin. As long as he sleeps on the couch in the front room, he shoves off after a day or two. If I gave him a real bed, he'd settle down for life. <laughs> Burglary Friday. Yes, sir. When did it happen? I see. All right, go ahead. 
214 South? Yes, sir, I have it. Right away. That's for us? Yeah. Pet store over near Lancashire Boulevard. A store? Yeah. It doesn't sound like our boy. Might be if they sell birds. We left the office and drove out to the Biggs Pet Shop on a side street in North Hollywood. 9.07 a.m. We interviewed Jasper Biggs, the owner of the store. He told us that during the night, the back door had been forced open. $17 was missing from the register. He went on to say that all the birds in the shop had been killed. Uh, the money ain't important, you understand. Not that anybody likes being robbed. No, sir. Besides, it's happened before. That's why I keep this sign here on the cash register. Register unlocked. Don't break. A couple of years ago, a fella broke in. Wrecked the machine trying to get it open. Register's worth a whole lot more than anything I keep in it. Shut up, will you? All of you. So much racket in here, a person can't even think. Now, oh, where was I? Oh, yes. About the money. Like I said, it doesn't matter. The $17? Yes, sir. The birds are different. They do matter. Uh-huh. Killed every last one of them. Parakeets, canaries, parrots, every last one. Yeah. Parakeets and the canaries, they don't matter. I can replace them. Insurance will take care of it anyway. Them parrots are another story. Different story entirely. Yes, sir. Two of them were on consignment, worth over $100 apiece. $100. Bet you never figured birds ran that high. No, sir. Well, they do. Parrots, anyway. Some of them. What's more, my insurance doesn't cover birds on assignment. How do you like that? What? Checked with a fellow who sold me the policy right after I called the police. Says birds on consignment aren't covered. Loophole. That's what it is. Loophole. Excuse me. Settle down, will ya? Big's pet shop. Who? Oh, yes, Mrs. Foster. Of course I remember you. Oh, that's too bad. Sorry to hear it. Well, maybe he's just off his feed. Why, no, ma'am. We can't do anything about it now. We do stand behind our animals, but it's been over a year since you bought him. Well, I'm sorry, Mrs. Foster. If you want the name of a good vet, uh... We'll go right ahead. Call the Better Business Bureau. Bye. How do you like that? Buys a dog way last year. Probably been feeding him ice cream and mashed potatoes ever since. Then expects me to nursemaid him. Well, what have you decided? Sir? It's the same burglar, ain't it? The one I read about in the papers. Been breaking into people's homes, killing their birds. Same burglar. Well, it looks that way. We can't say for certain. Plain as a nose on your face. If you aren't certain now, I'd like to know when you will be. When we catch him. Probably somebody wanting to buy those parrots. Be just my luck. Big's Pet Shop. Who? Oh, yes. They're still there. Wait a minute. For you. Thank you. Miss Friday. Yeah. Give me that address, will you? Uh-huh. Yeah. All right, I got it. Right away. Tracked off Riverside Drive. Same routine? One thing's different. Yeah. Lady saw him. <laughs> We finished our interview with Mr. Biggs and we drove out to the address of a Mrs. Nellie Diver who had just reported a burglary. Mrs. Diver told us her house had been entered shortly after she left to do her marketing. She discovered she'd forgotten her grocery list and she came back for it. When she returned, the burglar was in the living room. He had entered through a window. The M.O. appeared to be the same as in the other recent burglaries. Never saw such a surprised look on a man's face in my life. Just stood there like he was frozen solid for a minute or more. Then he lit out through the front door, lickety-split. How long were you gone from the house, ma'am? Five, ten minutes. As soon as I remembered about my list, I started back. Don't know why I'm getting so forgetful. Must be old age. Maybe it's a good thing you did forget, Miss Diver. Huh? Oh, you mean so he didn't get time to steal anything? Yes, ma'am. Nothing around here worth stealing. Wonder how he happened to pick on me. Be different if I lived up in Bel Air, one of those estates. Well, now, if it's who we think it is, he's satisfied with smaller homes. You mean he's pulled this kind of stump before? Yes, ma'am. You don't say. It's been in all the papers. Haven't seen one for the past two weeks. Haven't had time. What with moving and getting settled, world could have come to an end. I wouldn't know about it. Yes, ma'am. 
Would you recognize him if you saw him again? Beg pardon? The man who broke in here. You said you got a good look at him? Real good. Stood there for a full minute, maybe more. Well, then you'd recognize him. Don't see why not. This isn't the first time we met up, you understand. Ma'am? Saw him once before. When was that? Last week sometime. I'm not certain. Wednesday or Thursday. Middle of the week, in through there. You sure it was the same man? Looked the same, came right up to my door. Well, what do you want? I'm not certain of that either. Been racking my brain trying to remember. So many fellows around here last week. Two or three milkmen trying to sign me up. A couple of people wanting me to take newspapers. Three or four asking about dry cleaning. Somebody selling rugs. Spent half my time running to the door. So help me, I can't remember which one he was. Yeah, no, sure as fate. You think he was a door-to-door -door salesman of some kind? Seems to me they were all trying to sell something. That's what happens when you settle in a new location. Yes, ma'am. I wonder if you'd mind coming downtown with us for a few minutes. No, I wouldn't mind. What for? We'd like to show you some photographs, see if you can pick them out. Right now? If you could, yes. Just give me a minute to get my hat and change Henry's water. Henry? My connection. Oh. That's funny. How's that? He's usually singing a blue streak this time of day. We told Mrs. Diver that the burglar's M.O. included killing pet birds. She was shaken by the experience, but she recovered and accompanied us downtown. 11.05 a.m., we pulled mug shots of burglars who matched the description she gave us, and we showed them to Mrs. Diver. She identified one of the photographs, Stanley A. Bushing. We checked the name through R&I. Bushing had done time in the state penitentiary for burglary. From his 510s, we learned his acquaintances and the places he was known to frequent. 3.36 p.m., we located Bushing in a bar on North Main Street. Stan Bushing? Yeah? Police officers. You don't say. I want to talk to you. You're my guest. Now, let's go. What's the matter with right here? Joint don't get noisy till later on. Where were you last night? What time? All night and this morning, 8 o'clock this morning. What do you want to know? Come on, let's go. Give me a chance to finish my beer, will you? It can wait. Look, you boys want to know where I was last night? All right, I'll tell you. I just want to know why, that's all. Been out the valley lately? Well, come on, how about it? That way you're after me. Think I've been pulling those house prowls. What do you know about them? Just what I read in the papers. You know more than that. There was another one this morning. News to me. Is it? I haven't bought a paper yet. A lady saw you. Huh? Right after you broke in. Me? She says it's you. She needs glasses. We don't think so. You'll never make it stick. We're gonna try, fella. I'm clean. I ain't even on parole no more. It won't be parole this time. It won't be anything. Come on, Bush, and quit stalling. Don't get yourself in an uproar. Take it easy. You'll live longer. Suppose I got an alibi. Try it for size. For all last night and this morning. All right. I was with friends. We got a lady who says different. I got lots of friends. We know your friends. We'll settle for the lady. 10.30 last night till 9 o'clock this morning. I was with them every minute. Where? You ain't gonna like it. Where were you? You'll look pretty foolish. Come on, Bushing. Let's have it. Trunk tank. Lincoln Heights Jail. <laughs> verified Bushing's alibi with booking records at Lincoln Heights and learned that he was in the clear as far as the last two burglaries were concerned. 5.06 p.m., we interviewed Mrs. Diver again. She wavered in her identification of Bushing's photo and said she couldn't tell us anything more. Teletypes of the suspect's description were sent out. The next day, Tuesday, September 20th, we had a meeting with a skipper, Captain Bernard. Hi. Well, where do we stand on this thing? Just about where we did when it started. Not good, is it? No, it's not. We thought we had him yesterday, didn't pan out. Did you get a description? Yeah, but if she's no better at describing, she is at identification, it doesn't mean much, does it? He passes himself off as some kind of salesman. Is that how he cases the houses? As far as we can tell. We need a lot more than that. Yeah. This guy's got to be stopped. It isn't just the burglaries. Seems half the people in L.A. keep pet birds. I don't know, my kids have a couple of canaries themselves. Yeah. You get attached to them like you do anything else. Yeah, I know. You boys seen the mail on this thing? No. Letters from all over, not just L.A., all over. People are raising Cain. My own kid's asking me when we're going to catch him. Can't wait for a break. we got to make one ourselves. You got any ideas? I don't know. He's just been working housing projects, huh? Except for that pet store, yeah. Let's forget the store and see if we can get a pattern out of the houses. Well, they're all new places. The people have just moved in. He cracks one or two in each development, and then he moves on. So far, he stayed right in the Valley Division. Well, the way they're building out there, he won't run out of targets. No, he won't. 
They opened any new projects the last week or so? Yeah, a couple. He tapped them yet? No, not so far. We alerted the owners, told them to warn anybody who moves in. Probably won't do much good, though. Might. Hmm? If you two moved in. First, we drove out to a new track just off Coldwater Canyon Boulevard. It was called White Manor Homes. We found the tracked office near the main entrance, and we went inside. That'd be very nice. Thank you. Thanks for calling. Howdy, gentlemen. Like to buy a new home? No, sir. We're police officers. Miss Frank Smith, my name's Friday. Police? Yes, sir. Hmm. Don't think I've had any parking tickets lately. No, sir. We're from burglary. Oh, about the Birdman, I suppose. What's that? Well, that's what they call him in the papers, the Birdman. Yes, sir. It's about him. He hasn't been around here, has he? No, sir. Not as far as we know. Uh, that's a relief. Now, you're in charge of this project, is that right? Yes, sir. My name's Simple. Forrest Simple. Got a card right here. That's all right, Mr. Simple. Uh, I own White Manor Homes. I see. I guess I should say me and the bank, we own it together. Yeah. Looks like it's all going to belong to the bank, though, the way things are going. Been open nearly a week now. Haven't sold a single house. Sign out in front here says that two of your houses are furnished. Is that right? Yes, sir. Just for display. Wesley's department store did it. Figures it's good advertising. Mm-hmm. Of course, I can't sell them furnished. The furnishings are just for display. Well, sir, we'd like to use one of those houses for a few days if we could. Use one? Yes, sir. Afraid I don't follow you. Well, now, have you got a sold sign that you can put up in the front yard? Sold sign. Yes, I guess so. Well, we'll see that nothing's disturbed. And if anybody asks you, we'd like you to tell them a new couple moved in. Oh, decoys, huh? Something like that. Well, I don't know. Department store might not go for the idea. We'll clear it with them. Well, if it's all right with Wesley's. Thank you. How long do you suppose it'll take? How's that? To catch him. Well, your guess is as good as ours, if it works at all. We talked to the manager of the Wesley department store. He gave us permission to use one of the White Manor homes they had decorated. At a neighborhood pet store, we purchased a cage and two canaries. It was 11.30 a.m. when we got to the housing project. Oh, howdy. Hi, Miss Simple. Sure wish this was for real. Yes, sir. Oh, canaries, huh? Yes, sir. Sure hope he falls for it. Well, here's the key, in case you want to lock up. Door's open now. Thank you. Want me to spread the word? What's that? That I sold the place? Yeah, if you would, we'd appreciate that. Okay, I'll see the news gets around. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Man, what a layout. Yeah, it's all right, isn't it? You know anything about taking care of birds? Well, I don't imagine there's much to it, just water and seed. Boy, get a load of that couch. Hmm? Must be eight feet if it's an inch. Yeah. Boy, if they ever see this, I'm dead. You know, I didn't tell her what job we were on. You didn't, huh? No. Didn't want her to come over here and take a look. <laughs> yeah, this is all right, isn't it? Yeah. Wonder how much it cost? More than we make. Yeah. Well, it probably isn't very comfortable. Nothing like having your own stuff you're used to. Yeah, I suppose. Boy, they're sure singing up a storm, aren't they? Mm-hmm. You know, Faye might like a couple of birds. Keep her company while the kids are in school. Well, maybe you can have these. Hmm? If he doesn't get to them first. No one came by the house that afternoon or evening. At 6 p.m., Frank went home. I stayed through the night. The next morning at 9.15, we had our first visitor. Frank waited in the bedroom while I talked to her. She was a young woman who said she represented the local chamber of commerce. She told me her job was to welcome newcomers to the neighborhood. She gave me some maps and a book of coupons which could be exchanged for free introductory gifts at various stores in the vicinity. During the rest of the day, we had three more callers, two newspaper agents, a representative from a dry cleaning establishment. 4.45 p.m., a small truck pulled up out in front. Frank again waited in the bedroom while I went to the door. Lady of the house in? No, she's shopping right now. Oh, I'll come back. What was it about? I'd rather talk to her. Why? I'd like to take over your yard. A what? 
I'm a gardener, mister. Oh, well, I'm the one you ought to see about that. Uh-uh. Why? Well, you ask a man for a gardening job, and he says he'll do it himself, weekends or evenings. He don't understand how much work there'll be. The wife, well, she knows better. Knows her husband, too. She's the one who hires me. Yeah, well, maybe I'm different. I plan to spend my weekends and evenings sitting down. I don't blame you. Why don't you come on in for a minute? Sure. How much would you charge for a yard our size? Want me to handle the watering, too? No, I think we can take care of the watering. Well, I'll come once a week, then. Mow the lawn, look after your flowers, do the weeding and planting. Well, we're pretty well landscaped now. I think you can see that. Oh, you'll want some of your own plants. You could use a couple more roses along the side there. Yeah, it's possible. What's the matter? Nothing. Just looking around. Swell place you got here. How much for the yard work? 25 a month. Kind of steep, isn't it? It's a big yard. You said so yourself. Yeah, but you'd only be here a couple hours a week. Well, 25. It's the best I can do. Think it over. How about 20? Sorry, mister. It's not worth any more than that. You can get plenty of gardeners for 20. It's up to you. I ain't got any other jobs in this neck of the woods. I have to drive all the way out here. Well, how'd you happen to find us then? I said, how'd you happen to find us? I heard about this project. Thought more of them would be sold by now, though. Mm hmm Guess you're the only people moved in. Yeah, that's right. Thought there'd be more. There probably will be before long. If I pick up any other customers in the project, I might come down. 25 for now, though. Fred, I can't swing that. Well, you think it over. I'll drop back in a day or so. Somebody here most of the time? Most of the time. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll drop back. Okay. Oh, shut up, will you? What? I wasn't talking to you, those darn canaries. What's the matter with them? Well, they're always screeching. They get on a fellow's nerves. Guess you don't like birds, mister. I sure could do without these. Why don't you get rid of them? Oh, no. My wife would blow her stack. Oh. Her pride and joy. She talks to them all the time. Babies them. Just like my old lady. Your wife keeps birds too, huh? Not my wife. My mom. Oh. When I was a kid, cages all over the place. Must have had 15, 20 birds. Well, I guess I'm lucky. We've only got these two. You're lucky. I had a dog once. Yeah? Rusty, that was his name, a mutt. Only dog I ever had. Killed one of her canaries. Is that right? It wasn't his fault. Bird got loose. Didn't know any better. Just playing with it. Didn't mean to kill it. Sure. Made me get rid of Rusty, my mom did. Send him away. Don't know what happened to him. That's too bad. Never had another dog after that. Wouldn't let me. Just birds. Used to lay awake at night listening to him sing. That's what she called it. Didn't sound like singing to me. Wouldn't cover him over. Said it was cruel to cover him. Half the night long, I had to listen to him. It's like you said, gets on a fellow's nerves. Yeah. Still hear him sometimes when I'm in bed, plain as anything. Still hear those birds. Like they was right in the room with me. Couldn't be, though. Not the same birds. Why not? Sneaked downstairs and took them out of their cages. Did it real quiet. Killed them all. All Mom's birds. Couldn't stay after that. Ran away from home. Wish I could have stayed. Wish I could have seen her face next morning. Made it up for Rusty. Yeah. Still keep hearing them, though. Have to keep killing them over and over. So many birds. Yeah. So darn many birds. Couldn't understand why for a long time. I couldn't understand. Finally figured it out, though. I figured it out. You did. Folks put them in a cage, lock them up, feel sorry for them afterwards. Don't make sense. I don't feel sorry for something just because it's locked up. You might. November 12th, the hearing was held in Department 98, Superior Court of the State of California, in and for the County of Los Angeles. In a moment, the results of that hearing. The suspect was examined by three psychiatrists appointed by the court and was found to be mentally incompetent. He was committed to the State Mental Hospital, Mendocino, California, for an indefinite period of time. 